Hello everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your readings for September 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. I want to give a big old shout out to all the Virgos out there. Very, very happy birthday to you. We are officially in Virgo season as far as Western astrology is concerned. And I want to give a shout out to the September Libras. Yes, very happy birthday to you guys as well. So please keep in mind that these are general readings. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like to look into your own personal situation please go ahead and email me all the information is in the description box below yeah so for those of you that are new I want to give you a little bit of insight as to these readings on my channel these are not really specific to anything obviously we are doing this by sign but this is not love or career specific okay this is you could think of this as just the the messages that spirit has for you uh, having a conversation or a discussion with spirit about what is going on in your life at this time also keep in mind that just because these are dated for september of 2019 these readings are meant to be timeless yeah so whenever this resonates for you if it's in september if it's after september of 2019 please just take that message if it resonates for you at that time then that's the message for you at this time i i am speaking to the zodiac sign in question here but as a cross watcher you know this could be something that resonates for you as well if you are watching for someone uh, if you're cross watching for someone yeah I would love it if you guys would follow me if you're not already doing so on Instagram you can find me at divine underscore conversations you can also find me on Facebook at uh, facebook.com slash divine conversations 2711 if you would like to book a personal reading with me please just email me um, Instagram would be a good uh, other another option you know to to choose um, but Facebook is not a good option. Like I, I even mentioned this in my video last month. Um, I rarely check my Facebook messages. I don't always get them right away also. So if you're trying to get a reading with me, the best bet is to just find my email address in the description box below and email me there. I also have all of the readings that I offer and their prices and descriptions listed in the description box below. So if you would like a reading, please read through that and then email me. Again, Instagram is a good alternative, but that always isn't the most reliable, okay? The, your best bet, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, is to just email me, okay? With that said, I guess we're ready, so let's get to it. <laughs> hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for September 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. Two things. One, um, they are doing construction across the street, so you're most likely going to hear that throughout the reading. And there might be a moment where it'll get pretty loud. Um, there's really not nothing I can do about that, unfortunately, so we're just going to keep it pushing. Yes, um, it does seem that they have maybe taken a break for now. Maybe they've gone on lunch or something, so awesome. We may not get too much um, interference there. Second, I do recognize that I have been having some microphone issues throughout this week that I've been recording these readings. Um, so if you're, if you're hearing any fuzziness, the mic's going in and out, I apologize for that. Unfortunately, I don't know when it's happening. I don't have a way of monitoring the input, the sound input while I'm recording. And I'm just a one man band here. I'm doing this all on my own, okay? So I apologize if that happens. I, I think I may have figured it out, but just in case, there's that okay let's move forward so getting into your energy gemini the first thing that i was picking up on i was seeing purple for you uh which is a co color of wisdom and intellect and as i was channeling through and 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 you know feeling through that i was hearing wisdom and understanding okay so i think there are some things that are becoming very clear to you um throughout the month of september or whenever this is resonating for you or you're seeking some sort of understanding or clarity, okay? The first card that came out was the moon. All right, so this is like, this is indicative of cycles, things that are hidden, maybe fear, intuition, yes? And then you have the six of pentacles with the five of swords and the emperor. So I feel like there is definitely an energy of reciprocity here that's needing to be established. And it's funny because before I started um, channeling or doing the reading, or, or, I'm sorry, uh, before I started the, uh, the camera rolling and started recording this video, I was channeling, trying to channel Gemini energy, and for some reason I said Virgo. I didn't understand why at that point, but now I am starting to understand why this is coming through because I am recording this on August 30th, which is the day of a new moon in Virgo. And the theme of that new moon is all about reciprocity, okay? 
So I really do feel like this new moon, whether it's like emotionally affecting you in a strong way or like you're really noticing whether it affects you or not, um, I do feel like for a lot of you out there, this this theme of reciprocity that we're moving through through this new moon in Virgo, which is ha which has happened on the 30th of August, um, it has a lot to do with this change in understanding and wisdom that's coming through for you, okay? Now, with the Six of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, and the Emperor energy, number one, you could be dealing with an Aries, but also I feel like there is a sense of control or um, maybe even selfishness that has led to some sort of conflict, backstabbing, uh, 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 sabotage, lose-lose situations. I feel like someone here, whether this is you, Gemini, Gemini or maybe someone uh, connected to you, I feel like someone here is starting to learn about the balance of reciprocity, okay? The balance between heart and mind. Um, and someone is starting to integrate or accept uh, or assimilate some sort of compassion, some sense of compassion, because you do have the Knight of Cups here. I feel like with this Emperor energy, there was a situation, or there has been a situation. Um, this could have been a long-standing uh, 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 way of expressing yourself, or way of living your life, or for you or someone else. But I feel like someone had been very much my way or the highway to the extent that it was really destructive. It was really combative, okay? There was no, there wasn't any real sense of reciprocity. There was no real sense of balance, of give and take. It was literally all just my way or the highway type of energy. And with this Knight of Cups here, okay, and the Ace of Swords, which is the overall energy here, there is an understanding Okay, there is an epiphany, an aha moment, seeing clearly, seeing things differently even, that is leading to the expression of love, gratitude in some new way. Okay? All right, Gemini. Well, that's pretty good so far. I mean, it, it, it's, it might be a little bit of a troubling message, but ultimately it looks like there is a positive outcome that's really coming forward here, and that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. All right, so I'm going to give this one reset shuffle. And then we're going to get into the rest of your reading here, Gemini. All right. Here we go. <laughs> this thing keeps falling down. My prayer card. Okay. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of September 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Gemini, we're going to give this five shuffles. And we will see what we've got here for you. One, for my Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2019. Two, for my Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of September 2019. Four, and last one, five. All right. I'm going to cut the deck and we'll see what we've got for you here, Gemini. Boop. All right. Overall energy, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Excellent. Completion. Um, oof. All right. Well, what I just heard is what's done is done and you can't take it back now. Okay. So what does that mean? Uh, take what you can and learn from it. All right. There is a cycle here uh, that's completing with the Ten of Pentacles. This could have to do with family. It could um, because the Ten of Pentacles does represent family. It represents career. It represents finances, uh, being financially stable, being physically stable. It does represent being in something for the long haul, okay? But also, because it is a number of completion, it does represent, in my opinion as a reader, it does represent uh, 
coming to a place or a position where you have learned a lesson in life and now you can complete that, you can graduate from it and you can move on to the next, all right? Now, the other thing that, I'm, that I am getting with the 10 of pentacles here is somebody has a really strong focus on the financial and the material that may be clouding their judgment in other cases. Okay. Uh, like literally, this is all that they care about. Financial status, social status, your physical manifestation, how you physically represent yourself. There is an, uh, for someone out there, there is an overemphasis of that focus, which really could be a detriment to you, which really could be leading to that, that destructive and combative energy of the Five of Swords, okay? Underneath the Ten of Pentacles, you have the Ace of Cups. Okay, this is beautiful. This is unconditional love. This is unconditional love for yourself. This is unconditional love for others. But this, I do feel like whatever is completing here, um, especially if someone is really focused or has been really focused on the financial and the material aspects of life, well, that side of their lives or that, that cycle is coming to a close, is coming to an end, and now someone is starting to understand the love side of life. Beautiful. Underneath the Ace of Cups, you got the Three of Cups. Okay, celebration. A union card of sorts also. Um, social atmosphere, social aspects, coming together with friends, family, under good terms. Um, reunion of sorts. A congratulations also from the universe for closing out this lesson or just this cycle, which for some of you has been really hard to do, okay? Underneath the Three of Cups, you have the Three of Wands. Excellent. So. Where do we go next? That is a beautiful statement. That is an excellent place to be in. Also keep in mind that everything that you've been dealing with has absolutely been part of your journey. You are on the right path, all right? Source is guiding you here. Whether you recognize it, whether you believe it or not. So if you have been dealing with some sort of challenges if you have been that individual that's been in this energy of really just focused on the material side of things maybe the financial side of things and not really giving any thought or attention to the emotional or or spiritual side of things don't worry it's okay it's all part of your path it's all part of your learning process it's all part of your path towards oneness back with source eventually whenever that happens for you okay all right, so getting into the rest of your reading here, first half, second half, you can look at this as the first half or the second half of your month, if that resonates with you. I recommend that you look at this as the first half, second half of your reading because time is an illusion, energies are fluid, and the messages are going to be intertwining back and forth all over the place, okay? But take it as it resonates for you. First set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Gemini, you have the Four of Wands. Excellent. You've come to a good and solid foundation spiritually energetically maybe even emotionally and this can represent family here all right four of wands is coupled with the page of wands excellent it's from this place of stability uh spiritual stability um creative stability you know whatever that you are now able to go through a deeper level of understanding oneself of getting to know yourself better it almost feels like for some of you now that you're kind of breaking free of the illusion of the physical and the material now you can get to know yourself on a more spiritual level why well we are in at our core physical spiritual beings having a physical experience Okay, so while the physical may be, you know, feel real, like my hand, I, I'm putting my hand on this table right here in front of me, it can't go through the table, but that's part of the illusion. The three-dimensional, the, the three-dimensional, the three-dimensional reality is an illusion. Okay, and that's something you're slowly but surely starting to expand your mind towards, is what I'm feeling here. So that's a good thing, Gemini. That's a really good thing. Second set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, you have 
Woo! The devil. The devil is toxicity. It's codependency. It's addiction. And it also really can represent the forsaking of your spiritual aspects for favor of what is tangible, what you can see, touch, and feel right in front of you. The devil also represents fear. The devil is coupled with the five of pentacles. Mm -mm. Give me a second. Let me just make sure I'm getting this correctly. Because what I'm feeling right now is that the devil energy is leading to some sort of feelings of inadequacy. Now, as you dive a little deeper into the spiritual elements or spiritual aspects of your life, of your existence, of your incarnation, you could be still feeling the pull of the devil to say, you, no, you're, don't do that. There's some sort of pull from the devil. There's some sort of fear that is keeping you in a sense of feeling lack, not good enough. So it could be that these feelings of inadequacy ha are what has you in this focus or has someone connected to you in this focus of the material because that's tangible that you can see feel touch that you can show have with that you can have some sort of tangible results so i'm just going to focus on that because that's going to make me feel better in the moment mm. key key phrase there is in the moment and sure you want to be living in the moment but you also want to have a long lasting sense of fulfillment that isn't just momentary. And that's what a focus, a pure, strict, 100% focus on the physical, that's all it's ever going to give you. Momentary satisfaction. Whereas when you start to, to, to focus more on the spiritual, then you are able to have, to, to, to acquire, to cultivate long lasting satisfaction that is not codependent or that is not dependent on physical circumstances okay but I think this is what you're starting to understand now you're starting to see this for what that truth what it truly is which is beautiful Gemini your closing message or potential outcome here no I'm sorry no your challenge <laughs> sorry your challenge in the first half of your reading here Gemini you have the seven of wands defensiveness now the challenge here is the the sense of defenses that you have built around yourself the walls that you have built around yourself the over defensiveness that you have built around yourself in terms of this energy the devil and the five of pentacles okay there is more to clear because now that you are becoming aware of this now you have to do the work to dismantle all of these blockages or defense mechanisms that keep you from connecting with spirit seven of wands is coupled with the lovers here you are gemini and it's funny it's funny now some of you could actually be connecting with a capricorn you may have capricorn energy in your in your chart because you do have the devil which is representative of capricorn energy but the devil and the lovers are exact opposites here okay one has a devil in between them the other has an angel in between them and when we get to the lovers energy this is when we are getting to a true sense of ourselves this is where we get into divine union within ourselves. And especially since this is your card, Gemini, this is representative of your energy, and it's coming out here in the challenge, the challenge for you right now is to release yourself from these blockages and barriers that keep you from seeing the true you within. The truth of who you truly are being a spiritual being having a physical existence i really do feel like for some of you there are some strong strong blockages that keep you from accessing your spiritual reality and it could be because of fear it could be because of a sense of inadequacy 
feelings of inadequacy. I don't really know how that, how that would translate. That's literally what I'm just feeling. Like there's some sort of feeling or understanding of you thinking that you're inadequate in some way. And so you're not good enough to access the spiritual side of things, but that's nowhere near the case. I, I'm, I'm even having trouble understanding how that could be possible personally, just because of my personal understanding of the fact that we are spiritual beings at our core, having a physical existence. But you see, that would be an element of the mind control that the devil or negative dark entities have been putting us through over the last few millennia, I guess you say, centuries, whatnot, whatever. That is a whole other topic. If you're not quite following what I'm saying there, that's a whole other topic that we would need to talk about in a separate video because it's so in depth. But there is a sense of inadequacy that is holding you back. And that needs to be dealt with. That needs to be done away with so that you can get back to this sense of who you truly are as a spiritual being. All right, Gemini? Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, the Hierophant, Taurus energy. But this is representative of conformity, conventionalism. It's also representative of religion, okay? And certain organized religions throughout their history have worked to disconnect humanity from their sense of divinity, from the fact that we are, in fact, elements of God embodied in physical bodies. But yet, certain organized religions have worked to remove our understanding of that so that they could, in fact, control us. That would be that devil energy at play, okay? But you see, the, the, the bright side of the Hierophant is the aspect of teaching and learning. So ultimately, even though this may feel terrible, Okay, you do have some wisdom gained here. And that was that purple energy that I was picking up on. The Hierophant is coupled with the Magician. Now that you have learned, now that you are in fact graduating, I guess, now you can manifest from a place of truer self. Now you can manifest without the confines of society, social norms, religious teachings, um, dogma, whatnot, whatever, confining you. There is like a, there's a sense of freedom that I'm getting between the Hierophant and the Magician. Okay? That's beautiful. Getting into the second half of your reading here, Gemini, first set of surrounding energies you have, the King of Wands. Excellent. So, throughout the month of September, you could be moving towards this very confident energy. You could also be dealing with a Leo. You could have Leo energy in your chart, but I just feel like this is a new sense of self-confidence, but also a sense of spiritual confidence, right? Because the wand suit can represent creativity, but it can also represent spiritual spirituality. Okay. That's beautiful, Gemini. And that's exactly what you would need. That sense of self-confidence. The King of Wands is coupled with, hey now, the Ten of Cups. There's definitely been a lack of self-confidence that has kept you from manifesting your true emotional fulfillment. But now that you're gaining this, we'll call it spiritual confidence, right, in the, re represented by the King of Wands, now you can go towards that emotional fulfillment. Now you can really start to learn the lessons of love and emotion because like I just like I said in the beginning of the reading some of you are co uh, completing a physical lesson and now you can graduate on from that and start to learn the lessons of love ace of cups to the ten of cups beautiful Gemini oh my god this is so great second set of surrounding energies for you in the second half of your reading here Gemini you have well would you look at that the ten of swords beautiful Bam, patip, bam, bam. Okay. I mean, seriously, it's the completion of, I'm hearing narcissistic energies. The devil definitely can represent narcissism. The king of wands, not going to lie, can also represent narcissism, but I'm not getting that from the king here. I'm getting it from the devil. 
maybe there's just a light touch of narcissism there. It's not the biggest thing. Um, but this has been a struggle. This has been a self-deprecating situation for some of you, especially if you have Capricorn energy in there because Capricorn can be very self-deprecating sometimes when they're negatively aspected. I'm hearing the struggle is over. All right, that's great. I mean, you have three cards of completion here. 10, 10, 10, 10 of pentacles, 10 of cups, 10 of swords now. But the 10 of swords is really, really beautiful. Okay, 10 of swords is coupled with the four of pentacles. Interesting. Okay, well, here's the thing, Gemini, because you're facing or you're reaching a completion right, of some really difficult energies. Some of you could be holding on for dear life because it's all you've ever really known, so you might be being a little bit stubborn in really letting go, releasing yourself and moving to the next cycle, or some of you could straight up be letting it go. I don't have reversals here. So take it as it resonates for you. Either you're being a little bit stubborn and not allowing yourself to let go of this situation even though you know that it's detrimental, it's hurting you, it's hurting others. But you're holding on for dear life. Maybe because it's all you've ever known. Maybe because you're, you're, you're comfortable, this is your comfort zone. You've worked so hard to build these boundaries, to build these barriers, to keep yourself from listening to the spiritual aspects of life, even though it might be trying to get your attention. You're holding on to dear life because this is part of your comfort zone, but it kind of feels like you need to start stepping out of that comfort zone, Gemini. If you really want to expand and grow, if you really want to get out of these feelings of inadequacy, and it makes perfect sense that a lack of spiritual connection would lead you feeling vulnerable or inadequate or unsafe. You are actively disconnecting yourself from the source of which you came from, but the source of which sustains your life. It's not the physical that sustains your life. Yes, there are some elements that you would need in the physical realm, like, okay, sure, we need money because in our world, how it works, we got to pay for food, rent, what, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you need food because right now our bodies are sustained by food, not energy, not like pure source energy alone. Okay, fine. But ultimately, all of that comes from source, comes from spirit. And when you disconnect yourself from that sense of spirit, you leave yourself open to feeling extremely vulnerable. And so thus, you have to work that much harder to make sure that you are safe. Whereas once you connect with spirit and you connect with that sense of spirituality, that sense of connection to source within, all of those feelings of vulnerability dissipate because you have that source connection. I'm trying to find more ways, better way to describe that, but that's really all that's coming to mind right now. Okay? That is what the devil is representing with the Five of Pentacles here. Feeling unsafe and vulnerable because you are not allowing yourself to have that connection to spirit. And it's not like you don't have the connection. You do have the connection, but there are blockages there. It's almost, it's like it's pinched off and just minuscule amounts of that energy are being able to trickle into your life. What you need to do is, is not pinch it off any longer, unkink the connection or unkink the hose and allow the spiritual en energy to flood in, okay? Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Gemini, you have the Six of Swords. Letting the past be the past. Letting bygones be bygones. Moving from these rough waters to calmer waters. Allowing yourself to do so, Gemini. Six of Swords is coupled with the Page of Pentacles. Allowing yourself to start over, to start new. Some of you have reached the pinnacle of financial and physical success. Excellent. But there's still something missing. Well, that would be the spiritual aspect of life. It's time to let yourself start over, start anew. Page of Pentacles is that new 
level, is that level up, is that new space that you have to now find your footing again. Yes, that is absolutely out of your comfort zone, Gemini. But again, I, I, I really feel like spirit and source are saying it's time to let go of that comfort zone and move closer to who you are truly meant to be or where you're truly meant to be. And where are you truly meant to be? As close to source as possible at all given times, okay? Closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here, Gemini, you got the queen of pentacles. Excellent. More Capricorn energy, sure, but this is balance, grounding, nurturance. The Divine Mother, your own sense of uh, motherly energy. But this feels more like a universal energy. This doesn't feel like it's you. It doesn't feel like a specific person. It feels like the universe coming through and saying, hey, we've got you. That's really what this feels like. Okay, Queen of Pentacles is coupled with nah, the Five of Wands. That's interesting. That's a pretty obscure message. What I'm getting, Gemini, is that the Queen of Pentacles with the Five of Wands, is it's almost as if the universe is saying, look, all right, we've got you, okay? You don't have to worry about it. Go through the motions, figure out what it is you, you need to figure out analyze your inner turmoil, okay? And just keep in mind that we have you. We, you're solid, you're secure. I feel like this is the universe coming in and wrapping, your, wrapping you in a sense of security so that you can go through the motions of dealing with the inner turmoil that you're feeling right now. And it is, honestly, it's coming through as the queen of pentacles because the universe is saying, look, you can't fuck this up. You can't, there is no amount of mistakes that you can make that will ever get us to turn our backs on you. Now, here's the thing, because in the physical, the queen of pentacles will eventually turn her back if she's giving of herself to help support someone and they're not really doing their work. When it comes to the universe, the universe is never going to abandon you, if you want to put it that way. But the universe is asking you to go through the motions and feel through what it is you need to feel and deal with your inner turmoil, your inner conflict, so that you can come to a place of harmony. So it's coming through as the Queen of Pentacles saying, we've got you. You are solid. We're holding you down. We've got your back. But please... Do your work to connect with us so we can connect with you further. Because again, your connection to spirit has been pinched off to a certain extent. And we need you to open up those channels so that we can bring greater assistance into your life. Greater sense of stability and security. Okay. Beautiful, Gemini. All right, so let's get your closing message here. Your oracle guidance from the Sacred Rebels deck for your month of September. What have we got from a Gemini's, please? Spirit, best messages, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of September 2019. To close, oh, that one. Okie dokie. Ah, see? Okay. Card number eight. Be the hunter, not the hunted. Mm -hmm. And who would you be hunted by? None other than the devil himself. <laughs> All right. All right, Jemmy Gems. Here's what we got for you. Do you feel you are at the back, oh, I'm sorry, at the beck and call of circumstances, situations, and relationships that are outside of your control? Is your attention being called away from what you love, from your passionate focus upon your own journey and creative self-expression? 
Are you feeling roped into becoming a support, tonic, savior, savior and heal all for others? There is a big difference between healthy supportiveness in a relationship, which includes healthy self-support, and ignoring your own journey out of misplaced guilt, shame, unworthiness, or the belief that the needs of others are more important than your own. This is not compromise. This is unhealthy and neglectful of yourself. You are being asked to see through the assumptions, expectations, traumas, or manipulations that may be put upon you by yourself or others. See through them to the truth. You can only sidestep, change your response to, or choose to release that which you can recognize. This oracle brings you some important news. You are capable of seeing the truth, outsmarting old patterns and responding more creatively to craft new and improved relationships. You don't have to be drawn into the dreams of others or the suffering of repetitive struggles. You can become still and intent with a willingness to see the truth. In doing so, you will be open to being shown another way through the inner wisdom of your heart or a flash of insight from the great universal mind that penetrates your own awareness. This oracle also brings you particular guidance that there is a message coming your way. This message will be important to you and you are not to paint it as anything more or less than what it is. Sit with your heart, take your time, even if there is a deadline for you to answer. You will be able to bend and stretch time so that, you're re so that in your relaxation, you can feel for what your truth is in the situation at hand and respond appropriately. The more honest your response, without the need to be aggressive or apologetic, the more energy you will be unleashing from unhealthy patterns into the fresh new course your life now wants to take. This is a powerful time for you. No matter how seemingly small or how apparently dramatic events around you appear to be, know that you are stepping into a new phase of empowerment. From that place, a new freedom of self-love will emerge. Mother Nature offers you the wisdom medicine of the owl, the ability to hear what is not spoken and see what is hidden in darkness. Trust what you feel beyond appearances. The power and magic of the owl is working with you and mother nature is by your side, assisting you in navigating the current life transition into a new way of being. So there you have it, Gemini. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully, I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. But with that, I hope you guys have a great month and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of October. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!